Welcome back to A Very Awkward Baking Show. I am a very awkward host, Nikki, and we have our last baking race of this little baking race hectic mini series. Pretty exciting. If you haven't watched the other episodes, we are racing to make the best recipe ever. I don't know. Matt has sent me and my guests a list of ingredients and we don't know what the recipe is. He's going to give us the recipe very shortly and we're going to race and see who will be the fastest at making this recipe. But we also have to be accurate and we have to make it look good and we also have to be safe about it. So we can't burn our hands or cut off our fingers or anything like that. It's against the rules. I don't know, I didn't make them. That was all bad. Today, I am joined by Adrian, super cool guy. What's up, my friends? I just set up my camera. I look really good. Great. <laughs> We're gonna have fun today. And it's the last one. Matt tells me that it is extra hectic. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's gonna be. It'll be good. So looking at the ingredients, Adrian, what do you think we're making today? Um, amazing question. I, I bake like one thing a year. <laughs> looking at this, I wanna say it might be like a pancake, but is that baking or is that cooking? Yeah, I think that it's pudding. It's like a chocolate pudding. All right, so for this one, um, our guesses are a pancake and pudding. So this one is definitely going to be probably the trickiest thing you've made on these races. Great. Um, this is something that I've been wanting you to make on your show for a while, but you keep saying no. So this is my chance to get this in. Today, we are going to be making eclairs. Eclairs? We have to fill those. They're like donuts that you have to fill. Like a... Well, conveniently, this recipe here, which I just posted in the chat, will tell you what an eclair is. This one could be a bit tricky because I don't think either of you have the proper tools to make it. I don't even know what a whisk. <laughs> Total time is two hours. What? So when I said short recipes, you were like, nah. Right, this is probably a good time to Google how to bake. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have so many questions. What's a saucepan? You just need a pot, right? That's a pot. This will be great. Okay, are you ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, go. So first step, find a saucepan. This is a saucepan, right? A saucepan is just a small pot. Yeah. Ugh. Saucepans are underneath. I don't know what you expected for this, Matt. Like, if you're hoping for good eclairs, this is not the way to do it. I thought it was going to be so good. Okay, half a cup of butter. You said it was half a cup? No. I said it was 14 cups of butter. Not a part of the show, but I got these dope iridescent spoons for Christmas. I'm really dope. I'm so psyched about it. I should start a, a social media channel where I just review spoons. That would, I think, be... Content. You could call your channel the inside scoop. Oh, Matt, that's so good. <laughs> this is so, this is very strange. <laughs> okay, I hope we have a piping bag. Well, it's a race, right? I can technically cheat a little bit by instead of using medium heat, I can just bring it to high. <laughs> you can see how that works. I think that sounds fine. It's probably gonna just boil over. Uh, I get another soft pan. There's not a third saucepan. I don't own any more cookware. <laughs> Two cups of milk? Why did I put this in a bowl? I just stopped doing this. I just make cereal instead. <sighs> so much. Oh, fuck my butter. <laughs> The parts I thought would be most difficult about this is going to be filling the eclairs. Yeah, that'll be fun. Like, I bet neither of them have that little, like, a pointy straw to fill them with. Guys, so I can tell you why it's medium heat and not high heat. But on high heat, the milk starts to boil, the butter is still solid for it. I know what I figured would happen. Nikki, you want some dope close-ups for your show? Sure. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna fit in this little saucepan stirring to prevent film from forming. Listen guys, I know what film looks like. I went to film school. A whisk is where you use a whisk, right? I would assume. You can use a fork if you don't have a whisk. Matt, stop helping him. Okay, you boil, you boil. Yes. Oh my God, my butter. This is, I think making the cream and the dough at the same time is a mistake. What do I do when it's boiling? I forget. Put in the flour. Oh my god, oh my god. Mine's not boiling yet. Hurry. What do I do? No. Bring the boil or medium heat. I, I did that. It's kind of boiling. And stir in one cup of flour. No, I don't know. I don't know. You know what they say? When you can't find a wooden spoon, use an iridescent one. <laughs> That's what they say. 
When she says thin film at the bottom of the pan, does she mean of burnt ingredients? <laughs> Probably. It smells like butter. That's good. This is really gross. It's like grits. It's making a bowl. It's doing a thing. Ah, whatever. Close enough. All right, chance for the Lord mix the bowl and beat using an electric hand mixer. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. This done. Hurry. Four eggs. One at a time. Uh, each egg to fully incorporate your That's what the mixer's for. For the egg. Yeah. Beat until dough is smooth and forms a thick ribbon. <laughs> ribbon. I love that you're confused by every baking term that comes up. <laughs> I think I really fucked this up. This looks real gross. <laughs> Get a clip close up of this. Ew. Yeah, I'm a mixer. What? You have a freaking electronic mixer? Meanwhile, I'm here with my literal hands. It's a hard, hard recipe. Oh my god, it's such a myth. Yeah, I thought about giving this recipe to someone else, but then I was like, no, this will be a good finale. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I got my alarm. Oh. Is this gonna be ribbon soon? <laughs> Never. I'm so tired. Two. I don't want to lose count. Close enough. Like, if you Google a picture of a ribbon and you look at this, I would say that's a ribbon. All right, learn how to make a clitoris. I think that's a little farther back. Four. <laughs> pipe. Pipe a clitoris over baking sheet lined with silicone using a half round tip. I have so many questions. No, those ribbons aren't here yet. Okay, so you basically just put a bunch of strips on a on a, on a sheet. That's exactly it. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Great! Okay, cool. Piping bags. Ah, oh, I know a trick for piping bags. Hey, that's nice. Oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay. Why is this so... It's so sticky. They just have little sandwich bags. Little baggies. <laughs> oh, this dough does not taste good. Mmm! Mine is so good! <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. All right, I got my fancy piping bag. Look at this. That's huge! How do you get this with the fucking bag? This is <laughs> miserable. <laughs> Ew. It's just this sack of, like, more <laughs> <dough>. <laughs> What did you make us do? I wanted to see you make a Claire's. Yeah, I, I get that, but why? I like eclairs. I thought it would be fun to make. Matt, I'm upset. Okay, I think that's half an inch. All right, mine are two inches thick. Is that cool? <laughs> I think that these are going to be so small. This is gross. Like little worms. How many am I supposed to, I supposed to have? 18 to 20. Like, I literally, I use all the stuff I have, and I have like six. <laughs> Okay. Okay, you're good. You're boiling. What do I do? Look at these chunky boys. They're my chunkers. <laughs> nice. Get in there, fire. Ah. Okay, you go over here. Why is there hair in this? Ew. I don't want hairy milk. We done or what else we gotta do? <laughs> yeah, we're all done. Easy peasy. Are you ready to separate some eggs? Yeah, how do you do that? We're gonna have to figure it out. Oh, shoot. I have to whisk that first? Okay. Yeah. Whisk it. With an egg in my hand. Is it at the end of- Oh, that's cornstarch on the floor. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, I just cleaned this kitchen. You can't clean before you bake. Separating eggs quickly is a bad choice. All right, guys, I've never separated these guys before. It will have it in my hand and the other stuff's going through my fingers. So I think I've separated it. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Oh my god! <laughs> You're learning so much! This is just solid. This whisk sucks. No film. We don't want any film on this. Mine's like a, like a you know, you get a layer dip from Costco. Mine's like that, but it's all different layers of film. <laughs> Great. <laughs> 
Oh, this is actually working. <laughs> Mo's arm workout. Smooth and creamy. This is like yellow cereal. It'll get there. Mine is there. I like the mental picture of you just like, this is yellow cereal. <laughs> I show you guys my bowl, it's literally porn puffs. Okay, you're just, you're done. That's done. Porn Look at that, this, this dick turned kind of, kind of nice. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this at the same time. This is not dangerous, Matt. It's telling me what to do. Oh no. What? Oh no. <laughs> that's, that's, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. You know, I think, I, I think in Claire's, you know, I've seen them before, but what I have created really looks more like I went to Metro. Went to the bread section and bought like big loaves of bread. <laughs> this milk is so curdled. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to like temper the eggs and I think it just scrambled the eggs. But we'll see, it's fine. I just got off the rails immediately. <laughs> oh no, the butter! <laughs> ah! Bring to a bowl, whiskey, whisking constantly, and then whisk another, okay. Whisking constantly. I can describe this whole recipe as just whisking constantly. Yeah. This is, <laughs> not, this is not safe. Oh man, guys, I'm just gonna have some water. Baking rice, but man, baking is tiring. <laughs> yeah. Regret the long sleeves immensely. Oh, stop! No! This is burning. I'm really happy that you're also struggling with this, because, yeah. <laughs> it's working, though! Oh my god, it's a custard now! Do like how much steam is coming off of this? There's so much steam. I mean, it's good or it's bad? I, we made pudding! You just stop there, you're like, I guessed right. <laughs> well, this is the best day of my entire life. Will you cut, please? What? This is literally a knife! Oh my god, butter! Thank you, this really turned to pudding. Yeah, just keep whisking. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more advanced recipes that I've made on the show in general, not even just for these races. Like, Well, it's a good thing we're two baking experts. Yep. Is this supposed to be pudding? It could be. If yours isn't pudding, what's yours like? <laughs> oh, like a soup. Alright. <laughs> yeah, well, it's pudding enough. That's up, but that's up pudding enough. Oh. Hey, this is still good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna give you a sweet montage. I'm gonna zoom in a lot. It's gonna be a really close up montage of me just eating this. Great. Mmm. <laughs> Don't eat all of it. You have seven giant pastries to fill. You have to fill those pastries. Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this you is have good. Your seven loaves of bread with just a dollop of cream inside. Matt, you want to try some of this stuff? Stop eating it all! <laughs> it's so good, I can't help myself! Okay, I'm gonna take my eclairs out of the oven. Because they're pretty golden. Look at that! Oh, wait. Hello! They're so cute! See Here, there's one. Oh, damn! Those look like pretty little eclairs! Still the little baguettes. Yeah, and mine, like, are actually the size of baguettes. <laughs> yeah, now they have to cool for a bit. So that'll be that'll be good. I'm gonna cool them in the blast chiller. The hell's a blast chiller? My freezer. Oh, man, you, I thought you had more cool baking equipment <laughs> I didn't have. No, that would be a little bit insane, I think. You know, Claire's. Ah, I think they cool pretty <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna start the glaze. Four ounces of chocolate chips in a small heat safe bowl. Those are my loaves. No! Nah. <laughs> oh, the bottoms are actually very burnt. Probably because of the tinfoil. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Uh, all right, here's my plate of bread. <laughs> <laughs> I have mine too. Uh, it's so much. I have to pipe all of these. That's too much. So you put two to three holes in them. All right, all right. I'm getting this. I'm picking up what it's putting down. Oh, it's so calm. Now there's nothing burning over here. It's like... <laughs> you can do whatever. Let's make some chocolate. Chocolate. Okay, this is kind of working. 
spoonful is not big enough. Oh, so you just kind of put it in the bottom? Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, mine are just still burnt. I wonder if I should just cut the bottoms off. Maybe. That'd be a good idea. Here's the inside. It's a uh, clear surgery. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> They're not bad, but it just kind of tastes like you make them in a campfire and half it's burnt. <laughs> All right, that's good. I actually grab one of those iridescent spoons. The famous. And just kind of like do a little like a subway thing. Yeah. Ooh, or maybe like a, like a boat. And then I can just uh, put it in. Yeah, that works. I don't have like the burnt bottom. Totally not an eclair anymore, but. Mmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the filling is so good. Ah, okay, now it's coming up. Ah. Okay, how do I actually do this now? I'm just hoping they don't like explode. I got like all my eclairs and then over the sides, all the bottoms <laughs> ripped off. <laughs> oh. I'm so excited to see the product. You know what I've done actually? Mine are basically just little bowls for pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well have gone to Metro, <laughs> spooned out some buns and filled them with pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate, even to mine. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah. How are you gonna put the chocolate sauce on top? Just drizzle it over? I think you're supposed to dip them. That's the secret. Yeah. If I cover it in chocolate sauce, you won't be able to tell I had a pipe them. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that mine actually kind of turned out. Like, they don't look that bad. Yeah, you speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, the boat's got holes. Get the buckets. <laughs> We're sinking. Mine are all filled, and now it's time to dip. Oh man, mine, mine do not look good. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do not look like something I would want to eat. Look, it's gonna come down to the wire on who wins on speed. Hey, that's not fair. He has so much less than I do. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the paste then, I guess. Oh man, these look nasty. <laughs> these look so nasty. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, the jiggle. The jiggle. <laughs> you gotta give a give a little look at these guys. Oh, that's not what I thought they'd look like. I'll be honest. <laughs> Put that back down for a sec. It looks like you've made like banana chocolate spread or something? Yeah, that doesn't look like. <laughs> I still have so many to dip. Unfortunate. Oh, maybe I can use your spoon to fix them up. You know, I think they look better. If you check them out. Oh, they do look nicer. Yeah, they kind of look like weird oysters. Here are mine. Right. They just look like boys. Holy crap, those look like eclairs. Yeah, Ooh. shiny boys. Those are the shiniest eclairs. Wow, the difference of look between yours and mine. So going into this point wise, before the points, I just want to go through some notes. My note is that somehow Adrian managed to mix his dough quicker than Nikki did, even though he did it by hand and started after she did. <laughs> it was just astounding. That's why I was yeah. so tired. For the points, we are working off of five different aspects. We have the guess, accuracy, speed, presentation, and safety. For guess and accuracy, both go to Nikki. Uh, pudding or custard was closer to an eclair than a pancake was. <laughs> For accuracy, Nikki made eclairs, whereas Adrian made boats. <laughs> For speed, those boats helped Adrian finish faster. That's true. I don't um, do that. And for safety, uh, Adrian wins for safety because he took the time to stop and hydrate himself throughout this. Got to keep <laughs> stuff hydrated and keep going. Uh, which brings us to two points to two points. Uh, so it just comes down to the presentation, which Nikki has handily won. <laughs> Nikki's looks like something I want to eat. Um, <laughs> Adrian's looks like something. <laughs> close race. How was that a close race? How? I don't understand. Mmm. Yeah, I need these again. These are good. All right, well, thanks, Adrian, for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you. You know how much I learned about baking today? That's a lot. Yeah, that's good. That that was my goal, <laughs> is to educate you and the viewer about baking. Is there anything that you want to plug while you're here? 
actually got a brand new YouTube channel coming out. It's called Inside Scoop, and we talk all about different kinds of spoons. We're gonna review all kinds of spoons from uh, a ladle you might use for soup to the iridescent spoon, which, as we discovered today, is the best uh, utensil for baking. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is a what's my Instagram handle? Matt? Inside Scoop. <laughs> Put all of the links in the description that are real and not fake inside scoop. <sighs> thank you all for watching and thank you for watching this baking race series. It was very hectic and very fun. And uh, I hope you do all of those YouTube -y things. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, do all those things. One day I will figure out an outro, but until then, have an awesome day. Yay! Yay! Yay.